Good afternoon friends, welcome back to the channel, Hitchhiking Yeti here, and today I'm at South of the Border, and we are not going to stay here and do a vlog, we've already done that, we will put a link down in the description below if you've never seen our South of the Border vlog, but right here behind me is one of the coolest things about stopping here at South of the Border, this spark plug, and all these people come by, travelers putting stickers on this spark plug, and yes, I just added two more stickers of the Hitchhiking Yeti on there, so always a lot of fun but let's get to the point of this video did you know here in the united states we dropped a bomb a nuclear bomb on ourselves back in 1958 well it really happened and the crater left behind by this bomb is still visible to this day in the woods we are going to go take a little pilgrimage a little trip to this place the town that the bomb was dropped on is just outside of florence south carolina and it's called mars bluff so by all means, let's go check this place out. Nice little tourist attraction. And anytime I come here, I always stop and take a little gander at the spark plug. And look at all the cool stickers that YouTubers and bands and things like that have stuck to this thing. Look at there. There's a Hitchhiking Yeti sticker. How cool is that? And if we roam around to the backside, I was here maybe six months ago when I did my vlog, and there it is. Hitchhiking Yeti sticker is still hanging in there. So let's make our way to Mars Bluff because this is going to be a fun, interesting little historic video today, all about the time when the United States accidentally dropped a bomb, a nuclear bomb on itself way back in 1958 let's get this journey on the way so right here next to this abandoned 66 station on highway 301 is the signage it says atomic bomb accident at mars bluff march 11th 1958 in 1958 in the midst of the cold war the u.s air force accidentally dropped an atomic bomb near here the unarmed 7,600 pound, 10 foot, eight inch, almost 11 feet long bomb was aboard a B-47 bomber on a training mission headed for England. Its high explosive trigger detonated on impact, making a crater as large as 35 feet deep and 70 feet wide. That is pretty amazing, wow. So it says the bomb landed in the woods Behind this, uh, you know, a shingle-sided home, a railroad conductor, Walter Bill Gregg, Gregg and his wife, their three children and niece were injured by the concussion, which destroyed the house and outbuildings and did slight damage to buildings within a five-mile radius. That is unbelievable. But there you go. So uh, that being said, let's, let's uh, take a little walk back here and uh, see if we can find this crater. All right, friends, just like that, back here in these woods, we have came to the area where they have some old newspaper clippings about this bomb that was dropped on Mars Bluff. Right there, B-47. Officers question crew of Hunter Bomb. They exit, right here is like a, a picture of where the bomb site is located that circle that's where we're at and right here is uh the, i guess the walter craig's home it was blown off the foundation and you can see the bomb site right there look at the crater where this monstrous 7600 pound bomb hit luckily the nuclear core was not in the bomb at the time, but the TNT was and it still exploded and gave them one heck of a blast. Luckily, no one was killed. Here's a picture of what the bomb looked like. And they have the B-47 bomber that it would have been flying in right here. So if you come to this site, it is, I hope you like walking in woods because it's a lot of it. Very difficult place to get to. It's very grown up. There's an old abandoned like, 
trailer park next door and that's kind of the entrance that everyone uses and right here they have a like the actual size of what the bomb would have been that's pretty cool right there actual bomb size that is a good i don't know 10 13 feet tall very monstrous and then right here is the crater itself they have like a little post i guess somebody had built where you can stand up looking down in it so we're going to walk down into the crater now and try not to bust our butox and this is it this is the bomb site the crater we're actually standing inside of a nuclear bomb well not really a nuclear bomb a tnt bomb explosion right here in mars bluff south carolina this is unbelievable all these years later just shows how powerful these weapons are even without a nuclear explosion i mean you still have this massive crater that we're standing inside of right now unbelievable and i had never even heard of this until the last few months when i was just roaming the internet and it happened to pop, pop up and then i went to youtube and i seen a few other vloggers that had come here and documented it while well, you can still come and see it pretty awesome. so it's pretty amazing to sit here and be able to see this actual crater all these years later and this happened on march 11th 1958 that was many years ago and that was the first time something like this happened but it wasn't the last actually about a couple a few years later maybe two or three years later another plane was flying up the eastern seaboard through north carolina this time and they actually had a plane malfunction a problem and i think the plane ended up crashing and there was two nuclear bombs on that plane and luckily once again on goldsboro north carolina they never had a detonation there neither one of the bombs were just kind of wrapped up in the wreckage and it never was able to detonate but they did have the nuclear core in both of them the second one i guess all the jostling and the spinning out of control wreckage it actually disconnected the two wires that would have detonated the bomb and that's the reason that bomb did not go off so if you didn't know now you know <laughs> all right friends that will pretty much do it for us today here at mars bluff at the nuclear bomb site look at the road this right here is the abandoned neighborhood that used to be here had nothing to do with the bomb i don't believe but uh this was like it looks like an old like a trailer park or something like that or i don't know what happened but this place is abandoned too and all the roads look just like this and we actually had to drive and navigate through these roads or sticks and stuff so if you do come back here to see this crater be very careful because i have noticed they have manhole covers that are missing so you do not want to drive your vehicle off into one of those manholes and if you're walking please watch where you're stepping because you could definitely get hurt back here so that being said that will conclude our video today i hope you enjoyed this little bit of american history brought to you by the hitchhiking yeti I had a great time uh, making this video today. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It is free. It costs you nothing, and it helps me out so much. If you like today's content, please give it a thumbs up. Put any comments you want down below. I love reading them. Until next time, I am your friend, the Hitchhiking Yeti, and I will see you, friends, in our next adventure. And this was an adventure because that was a lot of woods I had to walk through today in briar patches. So that being said, I'm out of here, and you guys, please, friends, stay safe.